excited about the report? The one that said the only way to um, at least slow down the effects of global warming is to reduce the CO2 gases. So how can hemp help? Well, hemp can help in a lot of different ways, but the main, one of the main ways is, is a replacement for fossil fuels. Hemp burns, and it, it's, called, it's called biomass when it's used for fuel, and biomass is just a, a, a growing thing that you, know, you can grow every year, and, and it replaces itself. Why is it better than the other things that people are talking about? Hemp is four times more energy efficient than corn for making fuel. It is a fast growing plant that makes wood and in the process of making wood pulls a lot of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. And, and we have an excess of carbon dioxide up there and we should be growing hemp worldwide until that 1% is pulled back out and we've made buildings out of it and paper out of it and cement out of it and building our economy on it as well. And we, we need to understand the financial aspects of hemp for global warming. We need to leave the forests where they are. They are a carbon sink and help pull carbon out of the atmosphere just like the growing hemp would. The growing trees pulls in the same amount. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide and it that is the answer to the excess that we put up there through a one-way street by burning ages old oil and there's nothing and we're cutting the forest to boot so that was the, the carbon sink that's there got cut burned decayed so on back into the atmosphere the poles are melting. This is an emergency. This is a survival mode we should be in. Every aspect of survival. Think about it. We need to conserve like nothing else and go to uh, renewable fuels and replacing all the light bulbs and cutting, you know, the speed limit. And, I mean, this is this is the same things to do, and we need to do them now and get over the aspect of. Let's wait. Let's have another goddamn committee meeting, you know, on this. No, no, this is time. During the war we did this. We had hemp for victory, and we're replaying that now. Hemp came to our rescue. We had no ropes for the battleships. We had no uniforms. We had no thread. We grew it for the war. We need to grow hemp now for survival, because that's where it is. We know, we have no idea what's going to happen when the ice caps melt and the oceans warm. Uh, it could be catastrophic, you know, half the earth could die. We don't know. That's the point. And because we don't know, we should do something to prevent it. Prevention is worth a pound of cure. It applies. It applies right now to survival. And uh, that's, what, that's what hemp and our Hemp for Victory series is about uh, introducing people to the to what the government did to get this prohibition where we can't grow a plant. Well, who, is it? who is the government to tell you and I what we can and can't do with nature, you know, and with the plants of nature? It's not something we can put up with any longer. Survival, people, it's, it's down to survival. You want to see your grandkids survive get on it right now start to buy the buy the right car buy the right light bulb you know think about what's going on in life and uh i'll quit <laughs> all right hemp scrubs hemp, co2 hemp, hemp, hemp. from the air yeah. if the problem is an excess of co2 gases the solution is grow hemp a plant that scrubs the air of excess CO2 gases. Richard Davis, you are an awesome teacher. Thanks.